We design for people. So we need to understand what the people need and what they want as a living environment. We're not designing for ourselves. My name is Louis Lemay. I'm the CEO and Excellence Facilitator of Lemay, which is a global design firm. My passion to sustainability goes back many, many years ago, and I always thought that it was a responsibility as an architect to deliver the best living environment for people. We understand that the Earth has limited resources, so we have to find a way to build without using the resources of the Earth. The Phoenix is Lemay's main office, this building is unique. It's net positive. If I was going to talk about the net positive qualities of the Phoenix, it's really about what we give back. And that actually has an effect on the health of the people in this space, the health of the city. When I first arrived and joined LeMay, my first meeting with Louis LeMay, I came to this building, it was a warehouse, and you know we took some pictures of it. And, and now it's a revitalization of the neighborhood. The Phoenix has three different certifications that are lined up with LeMay's net positive approach. The first one is about the quality of the environment, which is fit well. The second one is about efficiency, which is lead platinum. And the third one is about the carbon footprint, which is carbon neutral. The three main things reducing carbon footprint first is the low energy consumption, low energy of all resources, would be water, air, and also the uh, recycling. We achieve to develop net positive project that at the end of the year consume zero energy with the same capital cost as a traditional office building. And people were saying that it's not possible, but we did it. This building is sort of a machine, and sometimes the machine is taking photovoltaic energy, sometimes it's taking energy from the facades through the sophisticated heat pump system. I think this is a responsibility as architects we have to embrace. Our architecture has to become a living laboratory. Every project we are undertaking, we try to push the envelope as much as possible. For instance, the next project, Quartier des Lumières, is an example of that. Our collaboration with Le May goes years back. Quartier des Lumières is a huge site of about three quarters of a million square feet at 1.5 kilometers from the downtown core. Quartier des Lumières is projected to start in 2022. A project to this scale, it has to be almost a new village. It's a project that could have 10,000 people on the site. People living there, people working there, people playing there. Carte de Lumière is really, I think, one of the most amazing opportunities that's occurring in Montreal. What's on the site right now is essentially the Maison de Radio Canada. It's the existing building that was built in the 60s. So from a physical point of view, it will knit the city back together. Hopefully the city will feel much more seamless rather than having these voids. From a citizen's point of view, it's got to rejuvenate the neighborhoods completely. It's inclusive in terms of its population. It could be for social housing, it could be for affordability, it could be for more high-end types of dwellings. One thing that we're really proud of is how the site has evolved within the community. We did do some changes to listen to them. In our benefit, and I think in terms of everybody's benefit, I'm Julie Lefebvre, Assistant Director for Group Information Travail. Group Information Travail offers group training and individual support to homeless or at risk to be people. There was a big meeting held with LeMay, including Group Information Travail, where um, nearly 40 organizations were um, gathering to express their stakes, their worries and needs that they had. The result of this meeting, the issues that were addressed, LeMay made tremendous changes to make sure that neighborhood would feel included. So we hope that this means job opportunities and this for us means that we could bring forward our candidates. When I think of this project, I think that Quartier des Lumières, Lumières, Lights, it brings hope. Architecture is a wide field, creating a much broader story about design, about form, about the environment, about materials. And that actually has an effect on the health for the environment, for our cities, for our world.